based on the situation in the country, or in the northern states first, and Kaduna in particular, we convene this meeting to discuss very crucial issues affecting our people. Therefore, this executive committee meeting has been enlarged by the invitation of the senior traditional rulers from southern Kaduna, the southern part of Kaduna, primarily to discuss the continuous escalation of violence and insecurity in that part of the state. Everybody in Nigeria has been worried about this crisis, this lingering crisis. It's been lingering on for so many, many, many years. But I think it's time to put a stop to this madness. Because it's total madness, people killing people for not just reason, but due to political affiliation, ethnicity, religion, and who you are and where you come from. And no same government, either at state or federal or local government, at our own smaller levels, will condone this continuous mayhem, continuous murder of innocent people. Of recent, we have seen the trooping of concerned citizens, concerned stakeholders to the Akashi Grand House, the seat of government of Kaduna State, of different individuals and groups to discuss with the governor on this lingering issue. And I think, and I want to believe, the beginning of the end of this mayhem, of this madness, has started. We have seen people from all over, from all walks of life, coming down to the source of the governor of Kaduna State on the best way out. Therefore, this meeting this morning was probably supposed to someone to discuss this issue in particular, and then other general issues of insecurity in our various states and in the country in general. We will discuss also, inshallah, the issue of this COVID-19 pandemic, how it affected our people, and what we should do as traditional leaders. Because nobody, no religion in particular, we all, all profess to be very good Muslims, very good Christians, but none of these two major religions had instructed us to do what is being done in some part of the country. And since we are talking of Kaduna State, and I want to say it very categorically and very bluntly, that madness was to stop. And we all call on the leadership at the highest level in this country and leadership in Kaduna State to put hands together and bring an end to this man. Enough is enough. And I believe our traditional leaders there know what it takes to bring peace, if they do want to bring peace. And what we have from them, how do we go about it? How we can help one another? How we can help the government of Kaduna State to bring peace to Southern Kaduna? Various religious leaders have been to the government house, both Christian and Muslim leaders. And we've all had very good comments being made. And that's why this morning we are gathered to put a stamp to the need to end these killings. And we want to assure the Governor of the Nation of our total support in all efforts to bring an end to these notorious killings of innocent people. And I said to Northern people, because our children were never involved. 
the children of the elites were never involved in it, were never killed. But the children of the common man, who doesn't even know what a government is all about. And I think it's important for us to realize who are the victims of all this crisis in all parts of the world. The children of the common man. And I think government at all level must rise up to the occasion. But it's a pity the situation that Muna has been brought to limelight due to some evil activities of some people. And this must stop. I want to call on our politicians to please fear God. We've had cases before, we've had crises before, but not at this political level. But now it's being politicized, and life doesn't matter to anybody anymore. Only to actualize my political.